So the day I thought I'd do a different tier list and I have no idea. If you're watching this, let me know what you actually search for because I don't know if a lot of people will search on YouTube for this or want to hear about this tool. But we're going to do a map tier list. Now there's five maps in the game at the moment. We have King's Canyon, we have Olympus, we have World's Edge, we have Broken Moon and Stormpoint. Yeah, that's all five. So uh, we're going to go over what's best for three different categories. We're going to go over pubs, we're going to go over ranked and we're going to go over 20 bombs. Um, I would base this channel around gameplays mainly so then I, and I kind of do these videos on the side of kind of my gameplays. So I think the 20 bombs thing would be pretty damn cool because a lot of people might be interested in which ones I like to try and get 20 bombs on the most. So let's get into this now. It shouldn't be too much of a long video and I'm just going to try and explain what's well, a bit of Seer gameplay of me going ham. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So starting off from the bottom of the five, uh, this is for pubs we'll start with, uh, it's Stormpoint, this uh, this map just isn't the one for uh, pubs for me, I actually quite like it for ranked as we'll go into later, but for pubs it's just too big, it's too big and uh, I will say that evac towers do make it more playable as they do with every single map for pubs just because you can get around faster, but this map for me is just the worst one for pubs still. Moving on to the newest map in the game, we have Broken Moon. Now, Broken Moon is a pretty good map. I, once again, I like it for other things, but for this, for, for just pubs all around and just jumping on people wanting to kill people, moving around the map pretty fast, it's just too big. I know that it's not actually too big because World's Edge is just about the same size, but it's just that no one kind of meets at one point, and that's the kind of thing that you want from a pub map. Aesthetically, this map is absolutely beautiful, though. Moving on to one that's very much less aesthetically appealing to everybody, because there's a lot of greys and boring colours in this map, we have King's Canyon. Now obviously this is the OG map, uh, it's a smaller map that you can get around very quickly on, third party central. For me, it's number three, middle ground, and I think there's, uh, yeah, I think this is number three in the list uh, in terms of pubs. Moving on to Olympus, this is the second best in my opinion for pubs, I, I really like this map, I think it looks great first of all, and I think there's a lot of really good POIs, there's a middle point in the map that everyone kind of meets around Hammond area, there's a lot of ways to get there, and uh, yeah, it's normally quite chaotic, and that's exactly what we want for pubs, and that's why I really like this map. So the number one pub map for me is going to be World's Edge. Now World's Edge has been a OG kind of really good map all the way through for me. I think this map with the capital city and the whole monument new changes has been really good. I think a bit less people would land there now, but it's still very busy. Obviously you have Lava Siphon, also quite a busy area on the map. But I just think this map is really good. I think it suits pubs perfectly. It's really chaotic. Everyone lands like in really high populated POIs. And then normally the games kind of end in a nice POI in a nice like middle area. The games are normally quick and that's kind of where I want pubs to be. I want pubs to be quick, chaotic, few kills, kind of get my hands moving a bit for um, warming up for ranked. And uh, yeah, that's what I want from pubs. So that's my top five pub maps. So I know they're a bit controversial. Some people really don't like uh, World's Edge now and it's got a bit kind of boring to a lot of people, but I still think it's the best pub map for me. Uh, obviously leave your opinions down in the comments. I want to know everyone's opinions on this just because it's, you know, it's interesting to get other people's opinions on things like this. Obviously, this is my opinion. You can't really be wrong with this stuff. It depends what you play, kind of when you started playing, a lot of things, but let's get into the rank ones now. So for the ranked ones, I'll just leave the gameplay in the background. You've already seen my kind of cinematics that I find. I didn't think I'd enjoy playing them again and you watching them again. So yeah, watch them kills instead. First, so I'll go over these five a bit quicker because I can kind of give brief reasons. Now, it's like this list is actually quite a lot different to uh, my list for the pub ones, as it should be. And uh, so for starting off with the worst ranked map, I would go with King's, King's Canyon on this one. Uh, I just, I think that King's Canyon is a good map and it's quite small, but I think there could be a lot more kind of just like little areas added in between POIs and things there needs to be more areas the end rings don't normally land end very well for me and uh yeah for me it's just easily the worst map for ranked moving on to the next one will be Olympus now Olympus being like my second favorite pub map it is really crap for ranked in my opinion it's um I don't know what it is it's just that they never the games never seem to last that long it's just so much open space and you need to like I don't know for me it's really really hard one to play I probably struggle playing Olympus the most on ranked but it's one of the ones that I couldn't really tell you why I feel like there's just a lot of open space and it just doesn't really run well for ranked and it kind of makes sense because if you look at the competitive aspect of this game obviously they play World's Edge and Stormpoint and there's a reason that Olympus never really got added to that and uh, yeah it'd be quite interesting to see why but uh, this is probably why to be honest because it just doesn't feel right when you play it. Moving on to the next one is going to be the newest map which is Broken Moon. Now I will say that I've not played a hell of a lot of ranked on this map. When it came out a couple seasons ago, I've um, I, I played a lot of pubs on it, but the ranked kind of seasons, I just didn't uh, didn't play much ranked to be honest, and that's it. So these are a bit, uh, could be up there more if I start playing it some more. But it's a huge map that has a lot of open space again, and I feel like the top two maps have less open space, and that's why I'm going with these. 
So my second one is going to be World's Edge. I think World's Edge is still one of the better maps. Obviously, it's my top pub map, but I think World's Edge still runs really well just because um, I think it's just spaced out really well. I don't know if anything's ever going to like top the kind of World's Edge kind of all round on this game. Uh, something might at some point, if it does, I really hope it does, just to change things up. But it's not my top one. My top one's going to be Storm Point. I think Storm Point ranked runs really, really well. The only downside to this map is that it's literally on a fat hill. So, like, that, you kind of, if you land at Fish Farms, you're at the bottom. And if you land, like, at the top at, like, uh, Lightning Rod, then you, you're kind of at the top. And it's it's big. If, the, if it was more flat, I think this map would be, like, perfect for ranked. But I think that's the only kind of disadvantage of the map. Uh, it's just, like, the verticality of it is all off. But that's my ranked ones. Uh, the, I think they could be a bit controversial to a lot of people. But yeah, give me your reasons again. Because I'm interested to see what people think. So I know at the start of this video I said I can do a 20 bomb one as well. But I kind of started writing it down just to go over it. And it's pretty much the same as my pubs one. Which, you know, fully makes sense to be honest. But uh, I just had to go over a few things about the why these maps are really good for 20 bombs. And why I like them over others. So you have the top two in my pubs list was... Olympus and World's Edge. Now these two maps have two things in common for me and it's that they have a few POIs that are heavily populated and yeah that, that's pretty much it to be honest. So you have like Lava Siphon and the Capital City or Fragment on World's Edge and these two places are the easy, the, the really really high traffic areas. So that's the, the two places you want to land in. If, you do, if the ship doesn't kind of start over one of them two it's kind of a no-go to try and get a 20 bomb in my opinion but that, that's just high roll. And uh, Olympus, you have gardens, you have estates, and you have the kind of energy depot area slash Hammond Labs. So if you land in any of these places, you're guaranteed kind of one, hopefully two teams land there. And that's how, exactly how you want to try and kick off these 20 bombs. For example, this game, I didn't actually get a 20 bomb. I ended up dying in the end. But I did get like 14 kills at Lava Siphon right at the start. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. That is, I, I landed, the ship came in just over the top of Lava Siphon from Tree. And this is kind of the first big drop. And that's exactly what we did. And we got 14 kills pretty much off drop. Did get the 20, unfortunately. But it was still a good game and it kind of proves why these maps are my top 20 bomb ones and uh obviously the other maps you can do them on uh there's a good few POIs on that pretty much every map that any 20 bombs do on any map just put it that way but i just think these ones are a little bit easier than the rest i will also add that i didn't really do like an aesthetic kind of feel i did mention aesthetically that some maps are better than others as well but i didn't actually mention which ones i think look best now i will say that apex is like a whole they are improving every single map with how good they look uh, Broken Moon aesthetically looks incredible. The colors on the thing, the whole design of it is looking so good. And I will say that King's Canyon, obviously that was the first map. It's the most kind of bland gray map. And uh, World's Edge had a bit more. Olympus was really colorful and is up there with the highest kind of good looking map as well. But if you look at Stormpoint, Olympus and Broken Moon's color scheme and how, how good they really look, it is a lot better than the originals. And honestly, they are doing a really good job of making these maps look really, really nice. So aesthetically, I would say that they literally go from the newest map, which is Broken Moon, all the way down to King Canyon being the worst one. But uh, yeah, honestly, the colors they're doing and how good they all look is really, really nice. I was looking at cinematics for this video, just to use them at the start, and I was like, damn, these maps do look really, really nice. And uh, yeah, it kind of got me thinking about it. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments of uh, how aesthetically pleasing and which map is for you. And just overall, let me know what you think of each, my map selections in this. Because I know that people are going to have different opinions. Some people like join the game when Olympus was out and they love Olympus more than everything else. I've been playing since King's Canyon came out on the first day of the, of the release. So I've played everything. I've seen every season of this game and uh, oh, what a no-scope that is. I literally got 15 kills at this space and then I ran into a team and died. So yeah. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, please. And uh, yeah, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do what you feel like doing. And peace out for now.